we are getting a firsthand look at surveillance video from a vicious store break in that we first reported on Thursday. It happened at the Animal Instincts in Fall River. That is the surveillance video right there. A person smashed through the front door and stole computers, but it did not end there. The suspect deliberately smashed a 180 gallon fish tank. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Shira is live outside of the Fall River Police Headquarters with more. Marilyn. Yes, that's right, Catherine. Police are investigating this crime and studying surveillance video, which you are about to see once again. Now, the entire community is upset about this breaking and entering at the pet store, and now a reward is being offered to help catch the suspects. Eyewitness News has a first-time look at surveillance video of a break-in Wednesday night at the Animal Instincts Aquarium and Pet Store on Plymouth Avenue in Fall River. Store owner Bob Shanks says police are actively searching for one suspect and possibly three others who waited outside the store after the midnight break-in. Surveillance video shows one suspect smashing a 180-gallon tank that killed valuable fish and coral worth thousands of dollars. The only surviving fish, 18-year-old Dory. This guy has some kind of an issue. I, I can't even imagine, other than making this crime look different than the rest of them that have happened on this avenue, this is the only thing that fell into play. Shanks says customers of his 23-year-old business have been generous and supportive. They are all hoping to catch the suspects who have been breaking into several local businesses along the avenue. Amazing. Thank God. Uh, I, I think that our customers knew that you know, something like this happens, you almost lose faith in the human race. Now, Shank says the reward money is now up to $750 uh, for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspects. He says his and many of the other businesses along the avenue have security, very sophisticated security systems, and he's confident that the Fall River Police will catch these suspects. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.